Alright. Um, for this unit, your first project I just called Contemporary Hand Lettering. And essentially you're just hand lettering a short phrase or a word or an individual letter in your own personal style. Um, so, with this project you have a lot of freedom. You can use any short phrase you want. Try to keep it school appropriate. Um, and then make sure you sketch out your idea before you start your final. Uh, you can use any size sheet of paper that you want. It just can't be smaller than 9 by 12. And then make sure when you make your drawing that it occupies at least three quarters of the paper. So, you know, if you pick a 9 by 12 inch uh, sheet of paper, it has to be within about one inch from the edge there and fill that main area. Um, again, if you, if you make it larger, uh, the same rule applies. And try to, try to do a little bit of research before you start drawing here. Uh, in this PowerPoint re presentation there is a just hundreds of examples of what you can do with this and they range. They range from the super super detailed and complex to the super simple and uh, even though they are super simple you still want to play with the letter forms. You still want to make it decorative and interesting looking. Uh, try to incorporate as many non-graphic um, uh, you know, ornaments or uh, designs and patterns as you can. Just play with those uh, designs. Um, you can also use any kind of media. You're, you're not really limited by media here. I would say that you can't just leave it in graphite. Try to add a little bit of black and white to it, pen and ink. Uh, make sure you go over it with black and white at least at the bare minimum. And then if you want to add color, you can. Uh, I, I actually think it looks really, really nice with the uh, color um, but uh, take take a look at some of these examples and again really play with it this this project has a lot of freedom and you can do an awful lot with it uh, here I'm just going to talk about uh, the first few slides here of some examples here's kind of a rough sketch of what this artist started with and again it's done in pencil uh, really really tight um, they probably used some establishing lines to get those letters in place and maybe they used you know, kind of like a cheat sheet with some uh, w some of the words already spelled out in uh, a font to start themselves out, and then they sort of added their own little embellishments upon it, like the ligature between the uh, R and the A. That was probably made by them. And then here's kind of their design kind of cleaned up, and now they're adding kind of embellishments to it. So they're, you know, on the bottom one, they're adding a lot of swirls. You know, they added a little uh, rays of light coming out of the middle there. You know, and, and now it looks nice and finished, and they're ready to probably add black and white ink or, you know, color to it. So this is kind of the process I want you to go through. Um, the practical application of this, of course, is, uh, you know, digital. Uh, a lot of these artists here will have digital examples only. But um, even if they did have a digital example, uh, it, you got to realize they started out with a sketch. Um, because most of the fonts, most of the letters in here were hand designed. Um, not every single font is owned by a designer, so often they are making their own letters by hand from scratch. In fact, that's usually preferable because that's kind of what clients hire them to do. They hire them to create uh, something original and unique for them. Uh, so they start from scratch, from the beginning, and, and sort of build up from there. So even though you do see a lot of examples here that are made with a computer, uh, keep in mind that they're starting with drawings and then really just soak in all of these examples. I think I have like something like 150 slides here. All great examples. All super, super fascinating. Really, They range, again, from the super detailed to the simple. You have a lot of freedom in this project. Think about what you want to do for this project. Take a look at the PowerPoint presentation yourself. If you see an example you really like and look up that artist, uh, there'll probably be a ton more examples of what that artist does with their uh, style if you're really curious. And uh, just, yeah, be thinking of what you want to do. Also, yeah, a, a, a real quick last note here, real quick note. Um, you can choose to design one letter. Uh, but a little disclaimer here, <laughs> if you d choose to design one letter, you have to make it as complex as you possibly can. Um, if you're not going to do a phrase or one word, you got to make that letter super, super detailed and, and complex. These, are, these next couple slides are really good examples of what you can do if you design one letter. 
in this sort of style, this contemporary style. Um, add as much ornamentation and patterns as you can. Try to add color if you can. Um, that's, that's, again, if you choose to design one letter.